Political repression is the persecution of an individual or group within society for political reasons, particularly for the purpose of restricting or preventing their ability to take part in the political life of a society, thereby reducing their standing among their fellow citizens. Political repression is sometimes used synonymously with the term political discrimination, also known as politicism. It often is manifested through discriminatory policies, such as human rights violations, surveillance abuse, police brutality, imprisonment, involuntary settlement, stripping of citizens' rights, lustration and violent action or terror such as the murder, summary executions, torture, forced disappearance and other extrajudicial punishment of political activists, dissidents, or general population. Political repression can also be reinforced by means outside of written policy, such as by public and private media ownership and by self-censorship within the public. Where political repression is sanctioned and organized by the state, it may constitute state terrorism, genocide, politicide or crimes against humanity. Systemic and violent political repression is a typical feature of dictatorship, totalitarian states and similar regimes. Acts of political repression may be carried out by secret police forces, army, paramilitary groups or death squads. Repressive activities have also been found within democratic contexts as well. This can even include setting up situations where the death of the target of repression is the end result. If political repression is not carried out with the approval of the state, a section of government may still be responsible. An example is the FBI COINTELPRO operations in the United States between 1956 and 1971. In some states, repression can be an official term used in legislation or the names of government institutions. For example, the Soviet Union had a legal policy of repression of political opposition defined in the Penal Code, and Cuba under Fulgencio Batista had a secret police agency officially named the Bureau for the Repression of Communist Activities. In political conflict Political conflict strongly increases the likelihood of state repression. This is arguably the most robust finding in social science research on political repression. Civil wars are a strong predictor of repressive activity, as are other forms of challenges from non government actors. States so often engage in repressive behaviors in times of civil conflict that the relationship between these two phenomena has been termed the law of coercive responsiveness". When their authority or legitimacy is threatened, regimes respond by overtly or covertly suppressing dissidents to eliminate the behavioral threat. State repression subsequently affects dissident mobilization, though the direction of this effect is still an open question. Some strong evidence suggests that repression suppresses dissident mobilization by reducing the capacity of challengers to organize, yet it is also feasible that challengers can leverage state repressive behavior to spur mobilization among sympathizers by framing repression as a new grievance against the state. Violence <inaudible> 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 Political repression is often accompanied by violence, which might be legal or illegal according to domestic law. Violence can both eliminate political opposition directly by killing opposition members, or indirectly by instilling fear. Intolerance Political repression is sometimes synonymous with political, ideological, religious and social discrimination and intolerance. This intolerance is manifested through discriminatory policies, human rights violations, police brutality, imprisonment, extermination, exile, extortion, terrorism, extrajudicial killing, summary execution, torture, forced disappearance and other punishments against political activists, dissidents, and population in general. State terrorism When political repression is sanctioned and organized by the state, situations of state terrorism, genocide and crimes against humanity can be reached. Systematic and violent political repression is a typical feature of dictatorship, totalitarianisms and similar regimes. In these regimes, acts of political repression can be carried out by the police and secret police, the army, paramilitary groups and death squads. Sometimes regimes consider democratic exercise political repression and state terrorism to other states as part of their security policy. See also 
References Further reading Articles Understanding Covert Repressive Action – The Case of the U.S. Government Against the Republic of New Africa 186 kilobits PDF file by Christian Davenport, Professor, University of Maryland. State Repression and Political Order by Christian Davenport, Professor, University of Maryland, Journals Special Issue of Interface, a journal for and about social movements on repression and social movements, books Goldstein, Robert Justin, Political Repression in Modern America University of Illinois Press, 1978, 2001. ISBN 0-8467-0301-7. Jensen, Joan M. Army Surveillance in America, 1775–1980. New Haven. Yale University Press, 1991. ISBN 0-300-04668-5. Talbert Jr. Roy. Negative Intelligence, The Army and the American Left, 1917–1941. Jackson. University Press of Mississippi, 1991. ISBN 0-87805-495-2. Irvin, Cynthia L. Militant Nationalism Between Movement and Party in Ireland and the Basque Country. University of Minnesota Press, 1999.